Tom Telford said to you one day in 1839, Look mate, this coal you're hauling out of Cardiff is just fine, but it's all over the place. If I were you I'd be inclined to build another dock and speed things up. Ah kid, said Bute, I know you're right, but it's bound to cost a lot. And things are kind of tight right now, there's not much in the pot. Said Tom, I'll do it cheaply mate. Okay, said Bute, why not? So he went ahead and cost him half a million quid. And the water pounds, and the anchor rocks, as a steamer bounds out of Cardiff docks. Can you hear the sea? Can you feel the spray? Can you sing of the history of Cardiff Bay? Easy, isn't it? Yeah. Which is when you got the words. Yeah. In 1841, they opened up the new Taff Vale, a good efficient railway. Eat your heart out, British Rail. Then in 1851, the Yankee Navy said that Wales had the best coal in the world and asked for more of it. Now being the best exporter in the universe is fine. All the steamers came and went, the coal kept coming down the line. But the stockpiles grew and grew until in 1859, they opened up the Eastview dock, which helped a bit. Your bit. And the water pounds, and the anchor knocks, as a steamer bounds out of Cardiff docks. Can you hear the sea? Can you feel the spray? Can you sing of the history of Cardiff Bay? And still the coal kept coming, things were humming at the mines. The steamers ran with coal and came back carrying Spanish iron. To keep the steelworks going as the valley's iron declined, but the coal owners were liking it and lumping it. And then in 1880, David Davis suddenly revealed a plan to build a dock in Barry by the Sea. In Cardiff, they assessed the competition rationally. Then they planned Rose Dock and built it in the seven year fit. And the water pounds and the anchor knocks as a steam abounds out of Cardiff docks. Can you hear the city? Can you feel the spray? Can you sing of the history of Cardiff Bay? In 89 came Barry Dock, and then after a bit, they built the Alexandra Dock. She came and opened it. At least she had a good day out, remarked a local wit. He was last seen on a steamer heading Port Sideway. And then the First World War came and the warships crossed the pool, using oil to fire their boilers. And for Wales's favourite fuel, it was downhill all the way. Exporting coal became uncool. And since 1964, there's been no more away. And the water pounds, and the anchor knocks, as a steam abounds out of Cardiff docks. Can you hear the sea? Can you hear, feel the spray? Can you sing of the history of Cardiff Bay? You can sing of fire and water if you will, but spare a thought for the largest coal exporter ones and Britain's biggest port. For a century and a quarter, all the shipping world played court. Let's raise a cheer for yesteryear and Cardiff Bay, and the water pounds, and the anchor knocks, as a steamer bounds out of Cardiff docks. Can you feel the spray? Can you feel the spray? Can you sing of the history of Cardiff Bay?